What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Definitely not the annoying orange. Welcome back to episode 130 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best gaming setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. If you see anything you like in this episode, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. And let's start off episode 130. First up we have James, and I'm liking this one right off the bat. Loving that, you know, the, the trees and the wallpaper, very earthy with the wooden desk, the white accents and stuff for the, uh, the drawers and the entertainment setup, and the warm lighting makes this all look really good. So jumping right in, that is a 32-inch Dell monitor there on his desk, We're going with the solo display, which I think for this particular setup was the right choice just to keep it more simple. Now his peripherals aren't really, you know, for gaming, but that's okay, we show off all different kinds of setups on this show. And the keyboard and mouse combo here is from Microsoft, it's part of their designer series, so again, simple they're both wireless and then for audio inside his desk drawer are his headphones these are the grotto sr80 these are actually pretty popular and they're pretty fairly priced i'd say as well and then keeping them in the drawer is going to help maintain that nice and clean appearance and then as for his pc he does unfortunately have it kind of tucked away out of sight um inside the bottom of his drawer here so not too sure how it's going to affect the uh, airflow and stuff but again not really a big gamer here this is the Corsair 250D case inside an Intel i7-6700K CPU with the Corsair H100i GTX AIO. Got 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM on an Asus Z110 Pro gaming motherboard and a GTX 760 GPU and a ton of hard drive space, close to 10 terabytes, as well as a few SSDs as well. I'm telling you guys, SSDs have been dirt cheap lately, so if you need an SSD, now's the time. He definitely stocked up on storage. And then as you saw before, for his entire entertainment, setup in his room which is just off to the right side of his desk that is a nice 49 inch LG TV there so you know great for media consumption TV Netflix gaming uh, console gaming you know anything like that but more than anything I'm really digging the overall aesthetic of this room uh, just very calming and warm and obviously keeping it simple here digging what he's got then we got miles hitting us with four monitors if you ever wanted to know what four monitors in a gaming setup looks like, Miles is delivering. Plus, he has two separate workstations off on each side of his desk, but he's got it all going here. So checking it out, both of the left and right monitors on each side are two 22-inch Dell displays in portrait mode. The bottom middle there is the LG 34UC79G, so a nice 34-inch ultra-wide. And the overhead is a 49-inch 4K TV from Samsung, part of their 7 series. Now for peripherals, going with the Corsair Trio here with the Corsair Gaming K70 RGB keyboard. It does have speed switches inside with the Corsair M65 RGB mouse. That's all on the Corsair MM300 extended mouse pad. And then for audio under his desk, as you can see, uh, he has the Audio Technica ATH M40X headphones, and then mounted is also the Corsair Void RGB headset. So I guess he's going with the uh, the quadruple Corsair love here. Then for the router here on display with some of his hardware boxes, he got the Netgear Nighthawk router. That's going to lead us then right into his PC. It's the MSI Aegis Mini ITX case. I don't know, A-E-G-I-S, however you would pronounce that. Inside is an Intel i7-6700K CPU as well with 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM and a Founders Edition GTX 1080 graphics card, which he has also connected to the EVGA hybrid water cooling system here. So a pretty nice build for an ITX case. Now I mentioned before he has multiple workstations in his setup. Then off to the left side here, this is his 27-inch uh, HP Pavilion uh, kind of workstation. Inside here he has a modded, so yet again, and also an i7-6700 CPU. And then on the right side of his setup, for a more you know on-the-go mobile workstation is his laptop the Microsoft Surface Pro 4 and inside this one for the CPU it's an i5 6500U. So there's definitely a lot going on in this setup it's kind of chaotic but at the same time it's not really messy either. Yes he has those big graphics on the wall and the big flag but when you have three different workstations one with four total displays bringing this all to six total displays in one room it's gonna get crazy but he's got it all locked down. And then in cleansing the palette here, this one is definitely more of a nice simple and sleek looking setup, going with a nice like white and ice blue theme. When I saw this one, started drooling a little bit, but uh, that's all right, hashtag droolers for life. Don't really comment that. Sometimes I say things just to see if people are actually listening. 
Anyways, loving the overall look of this room here. I'm also going for the solar display just to keep it all much more simple. And that is the HP Omen 32. I'm just noticing now that bizarre clock. Not sure if that's intentional or not, but that's quite okay. And now real quick, checking out his audio. Those speakers there are the Prisonis Eris E5 studio monitors. Then right into his headphones off to the side of his desk are the Lemmy Bluetooth headphones. I never heard of those or seen those before. I'm just judging by the looks of them, they're definitely all fitting in here. Got some succulents, RGB light strip around the desk as well with a nice little lamp. So he's got this, you know, clean, simple white theme locked down. Then for his peripherals, that keyboard is the Eagle Tech KG0110, which is an RGB keyboard with some nice, you know, again, white and blue theme going on. With a Vixting MM057 wireless mouse on their branded extended mouse pad as well. And I do recognize their logo there. It's actually like a top selling um, mouse pad on Amazon, believe it or not. Now we're gonna check out his PC. And I do believe this is a pre-built, it's the Alienware Aurora R5, but inside he has an i7-8700 CPU, which he does say is liquid cooled with a GTX 1070 graphics card. That's really all the information we have on the specs here. Kind of a bummer, wish we could take a deep dive inside the case and see what we got going on, but that's all right. And by the way, in between these voiceover takes, I'm eating some glorious Chinese food. So if I sound weird, that's probably why. Shout out to General Sal. But regardless, a white and blue theme like this always looks fresh, especially when it's kept this clean and organized looking. Not too sure what his uh, his chair is though, but again, it's obviously gonna fit into his whole theme. And I love that he matched everything here from the keyboard lights, even like the frames and stuff on the walls, the prints, the wallpaper, white and ice blue all looking so good and then returning is bombing jupiter we had him on the show in 2017 he's here now with that 2018 refresh this is also a setup that has kind of dual workstations here obviously with that main one with the four displays in the back and he has kind of like a smaller workstation um, across the room here and it's also definitely hard to ignore those massive 15 inch pvpr 15 speakers but as for those displays he has two 27 inch samsung monitors on the bottom they're a 144 hertz refresh rate a piece and then on the top are two 24 inch um dell displays and he has them in this kind of you know square quad kind of orientation here which is a pretty pretty unique lineup these peripherals here are the logitech g910 orion spark keyboard with the ever so awesome G502 Prodi Spectre mouse from Logitech also. And then for audio, he also has the Audio-Technica M40X headphones, along with the AKG P220 Studio uh, microphone there. As for his PC, it definitely stands out with some uh, RGB kind of going on. Inside is an Intel i7-8700K CPU with the Nzexi Kraken X62 AIO. Got 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB RAM on an Asus ROG Maximus 10 Hero motherboard. Two Asus GTX 1080 Turbos in SLI for the graphics cards. And again, a plethora of SSD space, keeping that build nice and quick. And like I said before, with that secondary workstation across the room, it's actually connected to that PC. So he could, you know, kick back here if he wants to just, you know, browse or whatever like that and then go over to that main battle station if you want to take it up a notch and I love that tripod lamp so five displays total for a very nice looking RGB gaming room here again the RGB for this one is also pretty like tasteful you know it's not crazy or obnoxious it all just mends in with the colors of the setup so I like that a lot and then this setup just screams classy to me something about it I don't know if it's kind of like, you know, ominous and it's got that, that lamp like you'd see in some sort of like murder mystery movie uh, with a nice wooden desk. Maybe it's the color of the wall. I don't know. This one just seems like old fashioned and classy, but I like it a lot. Definitely unique versus the setups we usually show off. So as for that solo display, it's an LG UM3495. So going back to one of their original 34-inch uh, ultra-wide monitors here. And on that monitor is a nice orange wallpaper, maybe looking like a screen cap out of Blade Runner, maybe. And then right next to it is that salt lamp, which is definitely going to complement those, those orange colors. For this glorious shot over the overhead for his peripherals, that is the White Fox keyboard. I picked one of these up on uh, Mass Drop. It's definitely one of my all-time faves, along with the Logitech G Pro mouse on a very simple kind of desk mat here. And even though it's not pictured for his headphones or the Audio-Technica ATH ADG1. Under his desk is his PC. You can see his headphones there, hang it down. Uh, this one's also a pretty simple PC. Inside this is an Intel i5-4460 with 16 gigs of RAM 
and a PNY GTX 970 graphics card. So again, not really up to par for handling a lot of crazy modern gaming, but given the overall feel and aesthetic of this setup, you know, keeping it classy and uh, nice and like a throwback kind of look, it's probably not really intended to be a gaming setup. I didn't get those vibes, and honestly, that's 100% fine. So I really dig the uniqueness to this one. Like I said, this is really different from the setups that we usually show off, and I really, really like it. It's just got this certain something to it. It's got some sort of charm, if you know what I'm saying, but uh, I'm definitely loving it. No, not an ad for McDonald's. And this episode of Room Tour Project is brought to you by Corsair and their brand new Corsair HS70 wireless 7.1 surround sound gaming headset. It is Discord certified, it comes in three different colors, it's extremely comfortable with these plush memory foam ear pads. You have 50 millimeter drivers that sound great, and honestly, if you're in the market for a wireless headset, usually they are kind of pricey, but $100 is extremely affordable, and I just did a review on these a little over two weeks ago. If you want to check them out, highly recommend it, I'll put the link in the description down below. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 130 of Room Tour Project. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, check the links in the description down below for all the products you saw. It'll be listed down there for you, as well as some simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be possibly considered on a future episode of Room Tour Project. And comment down below on some special themes and additions you want to see in future episodes of Room Tour Project as well. If you liked the episode, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Long Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.